Good evening, everybody. I'm Pierre Roberge, the Daily Trader. It is uh, April 6th, and we are going to take a look at Palantir stock. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research, make your own decisions. So Palantir had the OK day, closed at 23.27, down 17 cents, which represents 0.73%. Uh, uh, post market uh, down one cent. So what did happen to Palantir today? Uh, nothing, nothing too scary. We had uh, yesterday a uh, candle that was telling us that uh, basically with the wick above that the market was pushing it down. So it was um, it was a little of a bearish candle, even though the low was higher than the day before. And now today we have uh, what is called uh, basically a hammer, which is a wick at the bottom and the body of the candle on top. So this is showing the opposite. This is showing that there's an upward pressure during the day. So if we take a look at the one hour chart, uh, one hour chart. So today started here. So we had a candle down, boom. So that was scary. And then the stock did not go below this point here. So we can clearly see that uh, the stock uh, maintained uh, 22.96 and basically whoop, went up towards the end of the day. And uh, we can also look at the indicators. So uh, if you want to have fun, you can look at the indicators during the day uh, to see what happens when the stock is moving. So this is always interesting to see that. So basically, uh, nothing and uh, nothing scary here. So uh, the support here at 22.53 is still in play. And, and with this candle, uh, with this hammer of a candle, it shows that uh, no, the stock is not going down. It's staying afloat. So uh, nothing to complain too much. In terms of the stochastic, uh, down a little bit uh, because of today at 36. So this is why I'm putting this uh, thumbs down here. I will put a thumbs a thumbs up when the stochastic crosses uh, 50 or when the stochastic is above 50. And you can look at my Tesla video I just did to have a, a um, longer explanation about how I came to this new way of displaying uh, stochastic. In terms of uh, MACD, the MACD is still uh, is still bullish, so this is nice. Uh, the DMI, the DMI, who is a tough cookie to convince. So the DMI is still not convinced that uh, this is a bull market yet. Uh, this is why it's showing the green, well, the red line above the green line. The uh, red line shows the uh, bearishness within the stock and the green line shows the bullishness within the stock. And uh, we see the force of each uh, trend. Um, so the DMI is getting closer a little bit. Let me just check something. Okay. There is something I just noticed here. So maybe it has been in play for a couple of days. So yeah, my bad. So when the uh, black line of the DMI is under 20, which it is right now, like 17, and which it has been for a long time, uh, this means that we should not really trust the DMI because basically the stock is going nowhere. The stock is basically standing still and not moving much. So uh, that DMI does not really show much in those uh, times. So uh, basically that uh, black line is, is uh, calculating the volatility in the stock. So when, when the stock has little volatility, the uh, black line will start to go down. And then the DMI, as with many other, other indicators, they, they don't show much because when you have Let's say you have a stock that stays on the same line. It does not move in terms of price. Let's say it's at 22 bucks, 22, 22, 22 every single day. Then the DMI will just go where the red line will be above the uh, green line and not moving. And the MACD will also flatline and pretty much everything will, will flatline. 
the DMI is one of the only indicators that uh, incorporates this uh, this uh, indicator telling you that well maybe you should not look at me very much because the stock is not doing anything anyway but I'll just keep I'll just keep looking at it so uh, DMI is still uh, showing showing a bullish uh, a um, bearish trend so I guess I guess the next move for uh, Palantir will be when the earnings call will happen. So it seems to be, uh, it might be happening on uh, May 13th. So um, I would not surprise, I would not be surprised unless we are hearing some news that um, until then the stock does not do much. But it's fine uh, when we are trading in the stock market we we uh, need to be patient and uh, we have been patient so far and we can still be patient until uh, that May 13 where hopefully uh, things will go up more quickly so thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing liking commenting so that uh, it's worthwhile to me to uh, do these videos. I read every comments that uh, you guys uh, make. Uh, this is what basically motivates me uh, because if I had had no comments uh, telling me that you like what I do, I would have stopped doing it. But now I have some views, I have some subscriptions. So uh, this is uh, getting me interested in, uh, in continuing this. Also, uh, check out the uh, Discord server that, that I created. This is completely free, so you can come and join us. Uh, and you can we can talk Palantir stock, we can talk Tesla stock. And if you have stocks that uh, you think uh, would, be of, uh, would be beneficial for other members to know about, I also created a category where you can suggest uh, those stocks to um, the community. So feel free to join us. Also, I have a Patreon uh, account now. So um, if you feel like uh, you are getting value from what I do, I have a first tier at five bucks a month just to show appreciation. And I also have a tier where uh, it's $25 a month and um, for those people that pay this, I will do an extra uh, video analysis of a new stock every weekend. And uh, the people that are part of that tier can vote on the stock that I do every weekend. And those videos won't be shown on YouTube. This is exclusively for my Patreon members. So check that out if you are interested. So I'll tell you, I said that before, but uh, thank you. Uh, very much again I very I appreciate it I wish you a great evening and I'll tell you à la prochaine